Hey guys, I'm Mimi and I do all sorts. And today we'll be unboxing another scroller box. Oh man, it feels like an absolute age since the last scroller box. I've been doing that many different ad subscription boxes lately. I've forgotten what time of month it is. <laughs> so if you don't know, scroller box is an ad subscription box here in the UK. You can different supplies and and an app prompt and you basically make something with everything in the box. I'm not sponsored, not affiliated and I am just a huge fan. Alrighty and in April's box we have Ooh, oh geez, I'm having trouble trying to lift this up. <laughs> okay, now I'm really curious to know what's in it, but this is all of our supplies. But I'm going to have a look in them later and we'll see what else we've got. So up first we've got the scroller zine, which has a list of all of our supplies, about the featured artists and about scroller box. I'm not going to have a look at this now because I don't want to spoil it for myself. No, I love and then comes and the monotone of and the greys and then just like splashes of colour. Quite nice. Oh, oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. You know, I've never actually seen a baby flamingo before. So this is our featured artist, Camilla Gardner. Ooh, and she lives in County Durham, which is, I'd say, down the road from me. I'd say, like, about half an hour-ish from where I live and there's some info if you would like to have a look into other work and, and our paper for this month is a watercolour paper I'm sorry, I absolutely love watercolour so I am ecstatic with this so we've got an A5 pad here and as I said it's watercolour paper it's 300 GSM cold pressed and you get 8 sheets alright so now we've finished looking at the box now it's time for our supplies. And in April's box. Ooh. Ooh, interesting. So we've got an entire destruction list and I'm not going to look at that either. Again, don't want to spoil anything. Right, first up is our scroll sticker, which matches the scroller scene. I do really love collecting these. I have got like a whole pile of them. We have a West Design Chanograph pencil. So I'm not entirely sure what one did does so and apparently it's used for films, plastics, china and glass. Oh, can't wait to see how that works. Right next up we have another china and craft pencil and this time it's in white. Right um, next we have six tubes of water and colours. Now, I'm not really a big fan of using watercolour tube. I'm more of like a pan person. But the great thing about using tubes is that you can mix large quantities and they do reactivate. So here we have raw sienna, alizarin crimson, hooker's green dark, lemon yellow, ultramarine blue dark and Chinese white. So in the sense that we've got our primaries and like a bit of a secondary brown and of course you know having a white is an absolute must in anything so it'll be interesting to see how these turn out uh, but the win they are from Dale Rowney the square you'll see on the green one it's a bit different and that depends on how transparent and how opaque they are and these stars then how light fast they are and they're all three stars so so I'm assuming that this has gone good light fastness to it yeah I'm looking forward to trying these out and the last one we get it's a watercolour pen I'm not entirely a huge fan of things I like to have for more control but these are like really good for like wide areas and when you really need a lot of water so this is from Derwent it's in a very unusual shape that I've never really seen before so you've got your water container here, somewhere to put the cap, which is actually quite thoughtful. And what's unusual about it is that you've got this silicone button here and that if you push it, it'll push the water through. And that's what the tip looks like. Now I'm actually intrigued to find out how to use this because I've got like a handful of brush pens but never one with the silicone button. And, and I was sweet for the month. Oh my word. Word. I've actually tried these. Swizzles Great British 
Hoods in a Chewy Sweet. And this one's Rhubarb and Crumble. If you can, I would highly recommend that you try these out because it does taste exactly what it says on the package. If it says Rhubarb and Crumble, you bet your socks it's going to taste like Rhubarb Crumble. And I mean it. You can get the Rhubarb taste and you even get Crumble taste. So I am so going to enjoy this later and also as well this one is actually my favourite flavour. Oh yeah, as well as my favourite dessert as well. <laughs> Alright, so now we've met our contenders. Now it's time to test them out. So I'm going to go and grab some water and a palette and I will get back to you. Okay, so I saw me around in the sign because there's going to be like a lot of arm movement and the camera was just going to be in the way because it normally sits in between my legs. So, interesting development. So, first of all, I found out what these were. These are wax based pencils and what you do is that you just draw with them normally and because it's the wax based, whatever and call you put down on top where you put the wax it will repel it you know leave the white and black lines you know visible and I'll show you what I mean I'm not the best at explaining things so that's when they are I did have a lot of trouble in trying to sharpen these because as you can see the black is shorter than the white because the lead just kept breaking so easily. At the moment I haven't even used them yet but that is like the major downside of these that they are so brittle. I mean, so I'm going to start off with watercolours. And so there you go and then it's all sinks. I did put the wines on even though that you can't see it but it's just an automated thing with me now. So as you can see the colours came out absolutely vibrantly and they do blend out really well. And the great thing about these colours is and of course if you know the colour wheel you can you can mix up your own colours. The great thing about the wines is, is that you can make everything really pastel as well. So now I'm going to try and the pencils and to show you what to mean about them being resistant. Ooh, this white one is going to be fun to try and play with later because I can't see a thing. I'm going to try a dark colour. You can somewhat see it resisting there a bit, and then you can see where I've put the lines. Maybe it'll show up a little bit more once it's dry. And from the black, I'm just going to use a light colour. Okay, so the black pencil does smudge a tinty little bit, but you can see what I mean then. It does actually show through, but the white one is going to be way more tricky and to actually put down paper and remember where it is. So yeah, this is going to be really interesting to figure out what I'm going to do. As you can see, I just quickly mixed up some secondary colours, orange, green, and it's more of a reddish purple with that one. And of course I could send add white to it and you'll get more pastel colours. So at least I've done a bit of experiment and, and I've got an idea of how these actually work. So uh, we then send and let's have a look into what the scrawler challenge is. And April's scrawler challenge is Birds of a Feather. Oddly enough this is the name of the popular UK TV show called Birds of a Feather. <laughs> I haven't really done that many pictures of birds, but with the amount of colours that I've got here, you've got unlimited possibilities there, you know, and so I'm going to have a think, because, yeah, with so many birds to choose from, it could take a while, so I'm going to have a think about that, and I will see you in a bit. And so you probably can't see here, but um, done a rough sketch of what I'm going to do. So I did a bit of research and done on then birds of a feather and like people have been like similar interests in that so, so I decided then I'm going to do something with that. So like I said I've got some things sketched down but I'm also going to leave it as a bit of a surprise and then explain it later. <laughs> So 
So I'm from just pre-wetting the background and honestly I do love fumes in these water brushes for then so I'm not like constantly refilling the brush and then doing the background. So um, this is going to give for me an interesting effect. As you can see in there and it's dispersing the colour where it's wet. I've even seen when doing a wet and wet technique you have to work in a little bit fast. I'm not exactly the quickest person when it comes to doing the wet and wet techniques. Everything usually drives me before I even get to it, even if I'm well prepared. By the way, I don't exactly have a solid colour scheme going into this. It's going to make the content a little bit harder as well because I don't have like black watercolours either. No, I'm getting that invested in this right now. I'm, I've forgotten the entire recording. <laughs> yeah, when you work in with watercolors, it's always best to work light to dark. Usually, with watercolors, you can pick and top off the paint once it's still wet. Sometimes you're able to do that when it's dry. You can get a lot of really amazing effects from just watercolours alone. Also as well have a scrap piece of watercolour paper with the ends and every time you make a new colour you can test it out. So if you haven't guessed already, I am doing something different from birds. The actual definition of birds of a feather and people who are similar in character. And honestly, in something that you never really hear about anymore. And what it essentially means is that, you know, people who are similar to each other or share similar interests tend to spend time with each other. So, and this is why we have friends, <laughs> but we just never use the term birds of a feather. And apparently that has been around since the 1500s. My thought process of this one was to do like two girls who were interested in basketball. As you can see, this like big circle in the background, which will eventually be the basketball. <laughs> so that seems essentially my thought process for it anyway. So I'm going to carry on. I have actually put some stars in the background, but I'm going to go back in and do some like darker purple and just to try and bring that forward a bit. I don't know if you can see but where I'm going over the, the darker purple it's actually repelling so you can, can actually yeah, 
things, these watercolours are actually really amazing to use. I've been able to reactivate everything in my palette, no problem, and right now it's been a couple of days waiting for layers to dry. Alright, so what you've just seen me do for quite a while was, you know, just adding a ton of shadows just to try and get some depth and separation there and just trying to blend it out quite a bit. I really do like the way how it's coming out and the next bit I'm not really looking forward to, you know, since I've had such a hassle trying to get this sharpened to a point where I could actually use it because I've already lost like an inch off it already. You no, know, just trying to get that much lead and then didn't snap. So I'm going to wait until this dries and I will get into the final details. So now it is going to be the fun part and then start adding all of the funny details so you can actually see what's going on. As I've said before, this pencil is so brittle so I'm going to have to try and be super careful which is going to be fun because there's a lot of super fine details. <laughs>
Our instant here we are. Now I have to admit I actually had a lot of fun doing this, you know, especially in doing a different take and going from the same birds of a feather. You know, like, it's been, been around for centuries, but I have never heard anyone actually use that phrase before. Except, again, like, it was the name of a TV sitcom here in the UK. In the show, a little bit more washed down some camera but it's a lot more saturated in real life. I love the random concept that I came up with. I don't necessarily plan things out and just do it. Hence why we've got this. You know, I just love the idea of the fact that I've got two girls who have been brought together by the love of basketball, which I hope it does look like basketball. It just looks like a really weird and giant to slides of orange behind them. I have tried to make them look like basketball <laughs> and utterly failing. Some fun stuff in the channel graphs. I absolutely do love the concept of these. You can get the exact same results by using like other wax pencils or even crayons but it's actually pretty neat than these do work on plastics and glass. I mean I did try and tell them and don't Seen water glass, but unfortunately, they didn't really show up that much. But again, I'm not an expert in using these, so I'm probably using it wrong. But they were actually really fun to work with, especially when getting into like other details and like going in with the dark purple when I've got the white down, and even when I'd done the outline, it just ripped held it from the side. So that was actually pretty cool. And like I said, the major downside to the when the fact that the leads are so brittle. I mean I could not get a fine point whatsoever. Also as well they do rub down quite quickly. So they're like the only cons I really have about these. But like I said, you can get some different effects by using like other wax pencils or even crayons. The watercolours, I absolutely loved using the watercolours. You know, as I said, I'm not a huge fan of using tubes, but, but honestly, they did reactivate beautifully. I mean, I've had these little splodges of colouring for like at least two days now and then just reactivated as thorn they were in pans and you didn't get some really beautifully saturated colours. Now one thing that I was actually really surprised then if you haven't already guessed, when I used all of my knowledge to actually make and this darker grey because we do not have a black. So what I did was and just played about unions in the raw sienna. The lids are on crimson and the hook in green dark. You know, just in getting some variations in there as well. But and, and that in itself was really fun to experiment. I really I can, can not follow in the watercolours whatsoever. And yeah, I would actually really highly recommend in these watercolours and and in these then um, deal around the aquafine watercolours. You do get into a wide variety of them but if you unsure when get into a small pack like this and just experiment. The watercolour brush worked in the watercolour brush and didn't amazingly well for the larger areas. It did all it didn't really well from the smaller details as well. Really not much to say about it in watercolour brush is a watercolour brush. Box the exact same with all of the other ones. Um stained in the tip a bit but it doesn't hampen the performance. The little and silicon button was fun to use. And that did actually work really well on thumb. If you haven't noticed, I have wide thumbs, so it was a bit awkward trying to squeeze it in. So then it's like the only con against that is that it doesn't work on my thumbs. But it's a nice nifty little thing to have. And of course, I absolutely loved using the watercolour paper. You know, it held up really well. It buckled a little bit, but not as Bad as I thought it would, and I was really going ham in the background with the watercolours. I was using a lot of water, and and done the scenes not as bad as I thought it would be. So that is a huge plus. And also as well, picking up the watercolours off this was really easy. It did its job. Only downside 
was especially when I was trying to take up a bit of the brown and did notice and then after a couple of strokes the paper did sort of like come apart a little bit and, and like had little bits of pulp coming off which wasn't ideal but thankfully it's held. Unfortunately I can't tell you where to get this from because this is custom made for the scroll box so, so I don't know what to tell you about that unfortunately. So I hope you enjoyed this journey as much as I have been creating it. So if you guys are interested in your own scroll box I will leave a link in the description box below. So with that in the end, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.